Ah, the Tales of Arcadia, the trilogy with a character map so large it only rivals a series that rhymes with Shmame of Shrones. Luckily, I'm here to get you up to speed on every person, place, thing, timeline, and otherworldly non-human creature you need to know to get ready for the new movie. <clears throat> Troll Hunters, Rise of the Titans! Here we go, butt snacks. Jim Lake Jr. becomes the hero of the first series, Troll Hunters, when he finds an amulet which gives him powers and the responsibility to protect the trolls who happen to live under Arcadia. It looks like an amulet. Who's doing this? But more on that later. Jim's best friend is Toby. Jim and Toby meet the trolls Blinky and Arg. I knew you had potential, Master Jim. Who teach Jim how to harness the power of his amulet. Don't think, Master Jim. Become and transform into the titular Troll Hunter. The problem is, this troll named Bular is dead set on killing the Troll Hunter. The amulet! Surrender it! And enlists various evil trolls to attack our human crew. Jim ends up killing Bular, only to find a new, even more dangerous foe in Angor Rot. I would not want to mess with that guy. Eventually, Jim realizes he can't win this fight alone and his friends get some pretty frickin' cool weapons to help out. Oh, by the way, Jim's also in love with Claire. Meanwhile, Jim's mom Barbara starts dating Strickler. Yes, that Strickler. Troll Strickler. If I can't get you to hand over the amulet, I should kill you. The same Strickler who is working with Angor Rot and trying to kill Jim. No, we insist. Awkward. Angor Rot goes rogue and not even Strickler is safe. He asks Jim to protect Barbara and him, ultimately revealing Jim's secret. I think this is what I was meant to do. But don't worry, not everything is terrible, because at least Claire and Jim are getting along well, for now. But then Jim gets trapped in the Darklands with his newest foe, Gunmar, who has a personal vendetta against Jim for killing his son, Bular. Jim really knows how to make an enemy. They have forgotten what it means to be afraid. And boom, we are left hanging at the end of season one. When season two starts, we are reminded that our hero Jim is trapped in the Darklands, where Jim strikes up an unlikely friendship with someone who once tried to kill him. Be grateful I enjoy your company. But Gunmar, being the evil mastermind that he is, decides to pit these two against each other in a battle to the death. And Jim, being the good and honorable guy that he is, refuses to kill Nomura. Will you listen to me? There's a way out! Luckily, the rest of our heroes fall, uh, swoop down in the nick of time to rescue both of them. And Nomura joins them in the battle for good. Okay, boys. Let's dance. Oh, and once they're out, Jim and Claire have their first real kiss. We love to see it. Or maybe not. Private. The crew then finds more human allies in Arcadia, Steve and Eli. Whoa, nice. Unfortunately, just when we think things are going well, we learn Gunmar escaped the Darklands and begins attacking trolls and humans alike. The trolls blame Jim for unleashing Gunmar, so they hold a trial and sentence him to the deep to never return. But he does return. He is the hero, after all. And his friends help him escape. In an epic move, Claire uses her shadow magic to help him. But at what cost? <laughs> In season three, the new villain du jour is Morgana. But we still have Gunmar and Anger Rot lurking in the shadows, waiting to pounce. You aren't strong enough to take on the both of us, Hunter. We also see the aftermath of Claire's shadow magic. She gets possessed by an evil magical witch, ahem, <coughs> Morgana. Hello, ah! darling. And Jim and Toby head into the Shadow Realm to save her spirit before it's gone forever. They meet Merlin, who gives Toby and Claire some sick new armor. Wow, it really pays to be Jim's friend. But then there's the risk of death from hanging out with him and then killing you. Eventually, Jim realizes he needs to be a troll in order to defeat these supernatural enemies once and for all. The crew enlists the new kids in town, Aja and Krell. Feeling better? 
to help them find the ingredients necessary for Merlin's potion to transform Jim. During our final battle, Troll Jim persuades Anger Rot to come to the good side. Whoa! Until Morgana ends up killing him. Troll Jim kills Gunmar and sacrifices himself while fighting Morgana, who is then defeated by Claire and Toby's quick thinking. <laughs> awesome sauce! <laughs> our season ends with Merlin taking Claire and the injured Troll Jim to fix his injury. And Arcadia is left with Toby and Arg as its main protectors. You got all that? Woo! Okay, good. Because we're not done. Remember Aja and Krell? Turns out they have quite the backstory. I love this earth! Aja! Aja and Krell Terran and their bodyguard Barbatos Vex are aliens. Surprise! They end up in Arcadia after escaping Acheridian 5. Try saying that five times fast. Acheridian 5, Acheridian 5, Acheridian 5, Acheridian 5, Acheridian 5, Acheridian 5. Hey, I did it. Where an evil intergalactic dictator killed their parents and took over their home planet. They disguise themselves as humans and begin attending Arcadia Oaks High, creating a family to help blend in as humans. Prepare to be destroyed, human! Ah! But no supernatural secret can last long in Arcadia without at least one of our human crew finding out. Turns out this was all happening while Jim and team were fighting the evil trolls. So that's why they were able to help Jim find those ingredients for his potion. Anyways, Aja and Krell spend their time fighting off intergalactic bounty hunters and trying to repair their ship. And we find another blossoming romance. This time it's between Aja and Steve. You're an alien? Yep. You can fly? Nope. What? Ah! The Terrans end up defeating their alien enemies and fixing their ship. Eli decides to head off to space with Aja, while Krell wants to stay in Arcadia. And so it seems all is well in Arcadia once again. We're going home. Or is it? <laughs> Put simply, the world as you know it is about to end. Meow. Oh, not again! <laughs> This time, instead of aliens, we're working with good old-fashioned magic. I'm talking spells. I'm talking King Arthur. I'm talking Merlin. I'm talking Duxie. Wait, who's Duxie? Oh, I guess he's been here the whole time. Consider me blown away. And is a secret magical genius who learned from Merlin himself? Cool. There's, you guessed it, more fighting. But this time, we also have flying castles and time travel. Sure, why not? The group goes back in time to Camelot, where they meet Morgana, remember her from earlier? And her brother, King Arthur. Destroy those monsters at dawn. Arthur wants to wipe out all trolls and magical beings in the world, and Morgana tries to stop him, but he ends up killing her by accident. I wouldn't want to be the one to explain that to Mom. And then we meet three pretty scary individuals. Belrock, Skrail, and Nari. They're members of a thing called the Arcane Order, who want to take over the world. And they need, drum roll please, Morgana to help them do it. I accept this gift. But Nari decides to defect to the good side. No worries, Veggie Lady. You are under the protection of the Knights of Arcadia. Which is only me, currently. As you can imagine, Belrock and Skrail aren't too thrilled about this and hunt her down. During a fight, Jim sacrifices himself again. We need an edge. I'm sorry, Claire. How many lives does this guy have? And becomes a full troll. <laughs> Belrock and Skrail immediately enslave Jim, resurrect Morgana, and kill Merlin. Aw, oh, man, I liked him. Long story short, Morgana realizes she messed up. She and Claire both have special shadow magic, so they go into the spooky shadow realm to try and save Arthur and Jim's souls. Turns out that's where the good souls go when people turn evil. Unfortunately, neither is successful. Morgana fights her brother Arthur while our heroic team tries to save Jim's soul. However, during the fight, Jim unfortunately turns to stone, lost forever. Psych! Jim turns back into a human because magic and love. But Arthur dies, leaving his sword Excalibur stuck in a stone. Okay, I just had to try. Duxie, Archie, and Nari leave on Merlin's ship, and Jim, Claire, Toby, Steve, Blinky, Arg, and Krell stay in Arcadia to protect it from future threats. I'm sure there will be plenty. 
they must protect Nari no matter what. Or the other members of the Arcane Order will use her to destroy the world. No pressure. And that sets the scene for our movie. You got all that? It's okay if you didn't. Just watch the movie anyways. I promise it will be really good. Tech and magic are so compatible. Who would have thought?